high purity copper is obtained by electrolysis using a thin pure copper cathode and an acidified solution of copper sulfate clearly demonstrated on our schematic and then 9.1 says at which electrode will the pure copper be deposited right on the a o b so back to the basics again in ele electrolysis we have two electrodes connected to a power source right uh, clearly this will be the positive terminal and this will be the negative terminal now the question you have to ask yourself is that which electrode is connected to the positive terminal and which electrode is connected to the negative terminal in an electrolytic cell the anode will be connected to the positive terminal so here we know that electrode b is our anode and then consequently electrode a is our cathode but that's not what the question is asking us at which electrode will pure copper be deposited right only a or b where the pure copper is deposited it's where reduction happens the gaining of electrons that takes place at the cathode right so from that information here our answer would be a right that's where the pure copper will be deposited because a is our cathode and that's where reduction takes place and then 9.2 says write down the half reaction for this cell we have pure copper it needs to be deposited somewhere with saying that it takes place at the cathode and at the cathode that's where reduction takes place so we're gonna have uh, copper 2 plus plus two electrons giving us copper that's our reduction half reaction for this cell now let's move to 9.3 9.3 says that use the graph to calculate the percentage purity of the impure copper that was used as the cathode the math of the impurities formed in an hour is 15.8 grams when a constant current is used right now let's go back to the basics uh, we have percentage uh, purity right uh, percentage purity that is mass of pure sample right uh, divided by the mass of the impure multiplied by a hundred but in this question it's not really that clear so we have to break it down right uh, the mass of the pure sample will be the mass deposited at the cathode right uh, so here we're gonna have mass deposited and then mass of impure will be mass deposited plus the impurities that are left behind right so here we have mass uh, deposited plus uh, the mass of the impurities right uh, multiplied by 100 because we have this uh, chunk of an impure sample and then some of that amount gets deposited at the cathode so we know that that amount is pure but then the mass of the impure sample as a whole will be the mass of the impurities plus the mass of the deposited so we are told that after an hour 15.8 uh, grams uh, is deposited at the cathode right so we're gonna have 15.8 uh, uh, divided by um, 15.8 mass deposited plus the mass of uh, the impurities um, the mass of the impurities formed in an hour is 15.8 grams right so we're basically gonna be finding mass deposited so we're gonna have uh, mass deposited uh, which we're going to find uh, divided by 15.8 uh, that is for impurities right plus uh, mass deposited again so we have mass deposited uh, we're still multiplying this entire number by a hundred so now our duty is to find uh, the mass deposited right if we go back to our sketch here you're gonna see that the number of moles deposited in uh, 1800 seconds is 0 0.25 right uh, but then here on our equation uh, we're given the mass 
of impurities in an hour right so we have to multiply this 0 0.25 to find the number of moles deposited uh, in an hour right uh, we need we have the impurities in an hour we have to find the number of moles in an hour so now we can say that uh, the number of moles is equal to mass divided by molar mass so we are looking for the mass so we're gonna say the number of moles multiplied by the molar mass so what is the number of moles the number of moles in an hour will be 0 0.25 multiplied by 2 right we are given the number of moles in uh, 30 minutes we want the number of moles in an hour so we simply multiply by 2 right and then the molar mass we're looking for the molar mass of copper which is 63 uh, 0 0.5 and then when you multiply that 2 you get uh, 31.75 grams right our percentage uh, purity right uh, will then be equals to uh, 31.75 which is the mass deposited uh, divided by 15.8 which is the mass of the impurities plus uh, the mass deposited again which is 31.75 multiplied by 100 and then if you punch that in your calculator and that will give you 66.67 percent uh, now let's move forward to 9.4 9.4 says uh, the copper sulfate is an electrolyte and the concentration remains constant for the duration of the reaction 9.4.1 define an electrolyte an electrolyte is a solution that conducts electricity through the movement of ions an electrolyte is a solution that conducts electricity through the movement of ions and then 9.4.26 explain why the concentration of the solution remains constant the concentration of the solution remains constant because the rate of oxidation is equal to the rate of reduction the rate of uh, losing electrons is equal to the rate of gaining electrons and as a consequence the concentration of the solution remains the same